Do you want to make this cool 3D animation for your next hike? It's easy. I'll show you how using the Relive app. I'm Mike and this is Outside Chronicles. I love everything outside and if you do too, you're going to want to click that subscribe button, hit that bell so you don't miss any future videos. The app that created that amazing 3D flyover is called Relive. They have both a free and a subscription version. I'm going to show you all the options in the free version in this video. The free version of course has some limitations and I'll point those out as we go. It might be enough for you to want to get the subscription. The first thing you need to use Relive is a recorded route. And there's two ways to get a route into Relive. The first way you can get an activity into the Relive app is just to use the app. So I'm going to launch the Relive app. I'm going to click on record. And then I'm going to adjust my activity. So I'm going to do a hike. I'm going to click start. And as you're going through your activity, you might see something that's pretty interesting. You can take a picture. I'll use this photo and now that photo is going to be linked to this activity. When you're done with the activity, you just hit pause, finish, click through the finish, and wait for it to prompt you, continue your activity, and now you can name it, and you can see the photos are in there, and now we'll just save this activity. Now we can use that activity to create that cool 3D animation. The other way you can get an activity into the app is using a different tracker. And if you go to your profile, click on the gear on top for settings, and we go to the connected trackers. There's a bunch of different connected trackers. There's Garmin, Sunto, Wahoo, Apple Health. So if you have one of those devices, you can just link it up to Relive, and your activities will automatically sync into the app. I use a Sunto watch, so I have my Sunto app synced up. And if you don't have a tracker like that, or it's not supported here, you can also just import a fit or GPX file right from your device. So now that you have your activity, it's either created right from the Relive app or synced with one of your trackers, you're gonna to wanna to create your video. So to, in order to do that, you're gonna to wanna to go over to your feed and then find your activity that you wanna create. I'm gonna use this one right here and I'm gonna click create video. And you can see it pulls in the photos that were taken during that video and where they're geocoded, which is really cool. So we'll give it a title, okay. And we can select our activity. I was hiking, so I'm gonna keep that the way it is. And right here is one of the premium features that you get with the subscription is the video settings. You can actually get it into HD format make it faster or slower. So that might be something if you wanna use this in you know, a high quality video, you may wanna upgrade to the subscription. And you can also add music. Another thing that's part of the subscription, with the free version, you get this one song. I'm not gonna add it right now. With the subscription, you get several songs. So that might be a reason to upgrade as well. If there's other Relive users, you can tag them here. And now you can go through and select which photos you actually want to display. So I'm going through here. So maybe I don't want to see that one. I'll leave that one off. And there's a photo that I don't see in here. So what I can do is I can add a moment. And you, what you do is you set the location of your moment. So I'm going to scroll through and maybe right there I took a picture and it's not showing up in the list. I'll set the location and I'm just going to add a picture it'll search for ones that were taken time stamped for your activity first, and then you can just select something that's just in your photos library. So now that I brought this up, maybe I wanna put this picture that I took today in this video. I'm just gonna select it, and now you can see there, and I can also just add a note to it, just say, took this picture. Okay, so now we added a moment. Now that moment is gonna be in our route about two miles in is where we kind of selected it and one other thing that you can do is let's let's say that you this picture i can edit it and let's say it happened somewhere else on the route so i'm going to just select this one and edit where it goes and you can see i can slide it to a different location let's set the location there 
and we're good to go. So we have everything filled out. We're gonna go and create our 3D animation. It's uploading the media from your phone. And you can see this video is being made. You'll get an email when the video is ready and then you just come into the app and you can view it. Okay, so I'm gonna just go over to another route and show you a really cool feature that I wish some GPS's had. So I can come into this route and I can actually trim the route. How many times have you gone on a hike, got in your car, started driving home and realized you're still recording? Well, this will actually let you adjust the, how far the route is. So when you screwed up, you can kind of backtrack it and so it won't show up in your animation. I think that's a pretty cool feature. Okay, I got the email. Our animation is ready. It's in my activities. I'm gonna click on that. And you can see that you see a preview of the animation. We have all of the pictures linked to the activity now. And now let's take a look at our animation. Click play. And our animation is created, very cool. Within the animation, you see it shows your elevation, your location, and pops up where your pictures are. It's a really great way to remember your hike. I'm gonna pause this right now, and we can put it to Facebook, Instagram, right from the app, or what you can do is you can copy the link and send the link to somebody so they see the full version of it, or what you can also do is you can just download the video right to your phone and it'll go in your Photos app. So it's pretty easy to create the video with the free version. You saw the different features that aren't available as you go in through and create it. With the free version, once it's created, you can't edit it. If you have the subscription, you can actually go back and edit your animation. So that's another selling point to get the actual subscription. So I hope this helps you make a pretty cool 3D animation of your next activity. It would be awesome if you tag Outside Chronicles in your next Relive video. I'd love to see them. And if you found value from this video, be sure to click that like button. And if you want to see other outdoor adventures, gear reviews, how-tos, be sure to subscribe to my channel. That's it for now. I'll see you guys outside. Mm -hmm.